Hey everybody, Mike Grady here. I want to tell you about a, a brand new app that I developed and I just finished the uh, functioning version this morning. It's still in beta and it's going to be an open beta. So anybody can try it out and get on it. Uh, and it's basically uh, for those of you out there that uh, are Teespringers or T chippers or viral stylers or Fabrilliers or whatever you want to call it, uh, selling t shirts like crazy on Facebook. You know that. Uh, Organic reach is uh, really tough to get. Um, viral um, growth is, is not easy. And uh, Facebook ads are expensive. So um, what this does is it, it basically takes a, a Facebook post um, and makes it uh, generically go, go, go viral. Um, and I'll explain that in a second here. Um, so basically, all you got to do, uh, I'll show you how, how to uh, get connected here. Uh, let's go here, straight to springmyt.com, and it'll forward you to the dialog login. You go ahead and you sign in, and it asks uh, for your email address and your name, and I believe your friends list, but that doesn't matter because I don't mess with that anyway. Uh, so it takes you right to the builder. Uh, there's a few buttons on the top. There's one that's still uh, in uh, development and coming very soon, probably in a couple of days. Um, basically, the, the home page takes you back to the home where we were. And we just go back in here. Where is it going to work? Oh, there we go. Internet's acting a little weird today. Okay, so the uh, the buttons across the top here. We've got a uh, new campaign, which is where you start. We've also got a list of all the campaigns you've created, which works out pretty good. Has links. I've got a bunch of multiple same ones because I've been you know using the same thing for development. But um, essentially, it gives you a link to to your uh, your uh, custom designed uh, page by spring my tea and gives you a title and the date and time that it was created and it starts at the top with the most latest one um, under the client database you're going to have a list of all your clients and you'll be able to download um, their emails into a uh, database or a uh, comma separated uh, file you can upload to like MailChimp or Aweber or any kind of mailing service uh, so basically, let's go back to the beginning here. We start at right at the beginning of the new campaign. What it does is, um, when people post to Facebook, uh, a Facebook dialogue is a post to your news feed or to your wall that goes out on the news feed, and uh, it, you can't really share it. It's not like a share. You can't share it to uh, groups or pages, but you can share the link that's that's created at the end. Um, the beauty of that is it gives you a better uh, edge rank because a post to your wall, you know, you've seen all these annoying uh, uh, game posts and game invites and whatnot. That's what those are and everybody sees them. Um, Facebook wants those to be up there uh, to, to grow the traffic. So what we do is we use that, and if you've ever tried posting uh, to your to your wall uh, and then hitting cancel, it takes you there anyway. Whether you whether you actually post it or not, it takes you to the, the uh, refer link um, or redirect link rather. So I found a way legally with inside fa Facebook's coding uh, to be able to check that and work with it and. Uh, have a decision point where people can look at it and say, okay, do I want a discount? Sure, I'll post it to my wall. Or I'll hit cancel and it'll take me there anyway when it actually doesn't. So I'll show you how that works. So we'll start at the beginning and we right, right back where we started. Um, basically, you want to take uh, your Teespring or T-chip or Bible style link, whatever you want to use. And I've got one here, a Cold War Veteran T-shirt. Notice it's uh, what's the cost here? Twenty-two seventy. 
Okay, so what I'll do is I'll go in here and I will put that link in there. I also happen to have a PR code, promotion code, 10% uh, off, and the discount message will say 10% uh, off for you only. Let's see. And then for the uh, URL for the image, I host my images on ImageBox. And let's go there and copy the URL. And you want to use uh, 1200 by 628. It looks great in the newsfeed. Okay, and then title is right here, what it's going to say right underneath the t shirt. So let's do Cold War Veterans T with a 10% discount available. Caption is, uh, let's see. Get it today. Go ahead and get it today. Let's try that. And description will be uh, 10% off if you share this. Let's try that. And what it does is it instantly creates a, a page for your uh, your customers to land on before they get sent to uh, either you know Teespring or T Chip or whoever. Uh, this is preview mode only, so uh, none of these links down here work, and uh, this is just to show you what it's going to look like. And you, you, if you like it, it's great. If not, you go back and you hit every hit it again. So you go ahead and uh, save the campaign. Okay, and now it's while it's building, it's giving you a little bit of debug data, telling you that everything's good. Uh, this is a good thing here and stuff. So everything's been successful. Um, it's created a page for you, and I'll show you that in a second. And then it tells you to try and test it once you get there. Um, that's the secret sauce, and I'll show you that in a second. Uh, gives you a URL to copy if you want to share uh, to groups or pages, or you can just use the share icons down here. Now, it, because it's a brand new page that's been created, you're not going to get an image right away. You usually have to wait about a minute. For Facebook to create an image and I bet you it'll happen here in just a couple seconds. There it is. Yep. And this is what a share will look like. Looks pretty nice. It's all set. You can also use the uh, full screen version. That way you get to take a look at everything. Okay, so you go ahead and then you click to view your page. And here's the URL with the, uh, the page that's uh, dynamically created for you. And that's what you're going to be sharing on uh, uh, in your ads and whatnot. Um, so basically, here, here it is here. And you've got the customer lands here. They've got two options. They can either post to Facebook or they can go directly to the T-shirt. So let's go directly to the T-shirt with no discount, and you'll see it's twenty-two seventy, and there's no discount available. And so let's close that. Now, if they want to um, go ahead and post it to Facebook, it'll bring up a dialog box that creates that on the fly. And it's cut off on the, on the end, but that's normal for dialog boxes because these are a little old school and they were created before Facebook went to wider images, but it does look good in the newsfeed when it's all done. Uh, at any rate, if they try to get wise on you and hit cancel, it used to be that they had canceled, it would take them to the, to the discount anyway. So let's go ahead and uh, try that. Let's hit cancel. And nope, my little app here says, sorry, you didn't feel like sharing your discount, so please close this tab and choose again. So they come back here. Let me try again. And I think I had this on only me. I was sitting there with my friends. Who wants to public? Why not? I'll share that. It says, thank you, taking you there. And boom. You get your discount. Congratulations, we'll receive 10% off your purchase at checkout. And I'll just verify that. 
go for an extra large. 2270. Minus the discount. 2442. Let's ship it. That's incentive. And what they've done is they've shared it with, on average, for people who have about 200 friends, which is the average number, they've shared it with at least 20, 30, maybe 60 people. Um, this is going to increase your exposure virally. Um, so your organic reach is going to just grow exponentially because when somebody sees a discount, they're going to look at it anyway. And in order to see that, uh, to take a look at the shirt, they're going to have to post it to their wall. Now they can get around it by just going comparing the prices, but they still have to post it to see the discount applied. Um, so basically what it does, it creates all these these, uh, these nice little URLs for you. You can come back and you can edit them. Uh, we're working on the edit part now, but you can just create more on the fly. It's not a big deal. And I'll show you here. Let's see. Yeah, my campaigns. And there are the campaigns listed. And that's the latest one I just did there. There's the link. No problem. Now we're going to be adding uh, analytics as well. And the beauty of this thing is it's so powerful. We're going to start building um, shopping carts and whatnot. So you can put in all your campaigns and have them sorted and... and uh, just build pages on, uh, on the fly and you can send people uh, with your ads to there um, but the real power is going to come in a couple of days when we launch the uh, client database and how that's going to work is when they get here there's going to be three options instead of two the third option you want to make you know that probably a bigger discount and it'll be uh, a Facebook login button where the customer clicks login, gathers their, their uh, information, and we store it, and only you see it. Uh, you know, we can see it, but we're, we're not going to take your emails, your email addresses, rather. Um, but you, you, it builds a, a database, and you can export it to a common del uh, delimited format or uh, SQL format, and uh, you can then just either upload it to uh, Facebook to directly target people or you can uh, upload it to uh, Aweber or MailChimp or some of these uh, email providers and, uh, and build yourself a business, something of value. Um, so that's pretty much it. Right now it's an open beta, it's free for now. Uh, we're going to have a free version always. As the upgrades come, we're probably going to have a, a premium version. And uh, I need uh, beta testers. We have a few right now, but I need probably a hundred. I'd, I'd like to see see if the, the server can handle the loads and whatnot, and see uh, what what the results we're going to get out out of this stuff. So I appreciate your time. Uh, thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye. Oh, one more thing. Once you log in here, uh, we do have a little bit of help. You know these. Uh, daily notes that we pop in here and we have a Facebook support group on Facebook called facebook.com slash groups spring my tea so go ahead and give it a shot talk to you later